Hi there and welcome back to CNC Modeler. Today we're going to have a look at some crimping uh, tools that I bought uh, to help me do some electronics recently. So if you do like my channel, please do subscribe. It helps other people find the channel. And uh, if you like the videos, please do hit that thumbs up. Um, you know, if you, if you think anybody else can use the tooling, we're hitting the thumbs up, helps them find it. And if you want to hear about my videos and get notified, hit that notification bell and you'll see them next time. So I've got uh, a couple of tools that I'm looking at. There's this um, crimper uh, that's for power connections. Uh, so if you uh, have a look at the video here, we've got these crimps. And um, the idea is, uh, I, historically, I've always um, soldered the wires, but I've learned recently that um, for higher power applications, if you solder them and the connections overheat, especially with screw terminals, you uh, stand a chance of melting the solder and then of course liquid solder around electron electro electricity isn't a good idea. Um, so these crimp on connections, um, they basically just slip over the wire and we have this um, tool and it's uh, it creates a really sort of interesting pattern on the um, on the crimp uh, it's basically it's almost geodesic and uh, so if we just and it's a ratchet device so you put the crimp in you ratchet it up and then you click it through and it'll only open again once you've fully closed and you get this um i don't know if you can see it but you get this sort of funny um diamond stroke geodesic type pattern on it it uh, seems to work really well i i can't pull them off so um yeah and you know you just whack them on put it in the crimper squeeze and jobs are good and and it has this uh, sort of funny arrangement where the square goes closed and then it applies pressure and it's all spring loaded so the pressure is always the same every time and then we have this um so this is for jst and molex connectors uh, and this one has all the different sizes that i usually use and again, this is a, a ratchet connector, but it does both parts of the JST. So it does um, the uh, crimp onto the wire and the crimp onto the um, uh, jacket, if you like, a strain relief crimp in one action. So there's two different size jaws. Again, ratchet based and you clip, ratchet it down onto the crimp nice and gently. That holds it in place and then you just push your wire in and give it a squeeze and it'll only release if you've closed it all the way again the amount of tension is uh, changeable on there and um, yeah it just works really well so i like that and uh, yeah it's all good so and then we have this um, again for Molex and JST connectors. I don't recommend this one. Uh, this didn't form the crimps properly and just didn't work for me. The sizes didn't seem quite right. So uh, yeah, and finally, um, if you have a look down in the descriptions, I've put links um, to the two tools I recommend um, that work for me. So there you go. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you do enjoy the videos, please do subscribe or check out my um, uh, website and uh, have a look at these other videos so thanks very much for watching and i'll see you again next time cheers